Hi, welcome to Python tutorial. In this video, I will discuss how to write a Python program using classes and objects to deposit and withdraw money in a bank account. So what we need to do is uh, we need to use uh, classes and methods and then uh, we need to write some different uh, methods so that we can demonstrate how can we deposit, withdraw and enquiry uh, the money in a bank account. So first I will create one uh, class. Uh, I will name this particular class as a bank and then I will add some uh, different uh, methods. So first I will create one uh, constructor that is underscore underscore init and then I will pass uh, one parameter to it that is uh, the self that is uh, the self is nothing but the object which is used to create uh, 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 which is created okay so now uh, when we do this part of the thing I will initialize self dot we can say that uh, um, I will take one attribute uh, let us say that balance which is equal to zero the meaning is uh, the account is uh, just created and uh, the balance in the account is equal to zero and then I will just give one message like uh, print the account is created so what is the meaning of this one is uh, uh, whenever you try to create an object of a class uh, in constructor will be executed and uh, the balance will be set to zero and uh, a message will be displayed to us saying that the new account is created now what we need to do is uh, we need to write some different uh, methods uh, one is to withdraw money deposit uh, money as well as enquiry so these are the different uh, methods we need to write so first I will write uh, deposit, uh, deposit uh, again we need to use an implicit parameter that is self and then uh, what I need to do is amount is equal to amount minus uh, sorry plus self dot um, so first we need to read the amount how much amount I want to uh, deposit so I will take uh, in float input and then enter the amount to be deposited or to be deposit so how much amount of uh, to be deposited that will be read here and uh, it will be converted into float and then it will be sh uh, stored into amount now what I can do is uh, I will take self dot balance uh, whenever an account is created uh, the self dot balance was equivalent to zero now I want to add some or deposit some money into this particular account so I have done or I have read uh, the what is the amount to be deposited and I have stored that thing into amount now self dot balance is equivalent to self dot balance plus amount so that is the next thing now uh, what we need to do is uh, we need to print one message saying that the deposit is successful okay deposit is successful and the balance in the account is okay so here i will take percentage f because I want to display floating point value and then uh, here it should be self dot balance so what I have done here is uh, I have displayed one message saying that deposit is successful and the balance in the account is so and so now uh, I think uh, this much is enough for this particular uh, definition I will add one more definition and definition is uh, withdraw so what I am trying to do in this method is to uh, I am writing some set of instructions which will help me to withdraw money so that is what actually I will be doing so uh, def withdraw now what I need to do is how much amount I want to withdraw so that is what I need to write read so that is amount is equal to again it will be in a floating point number so input I will ask user to enter enter the amount to be uh, or to withdraw withdraw okay so he will enter the amount and it will be stored into amount variable 
now i need to put self dot uh, balance is equivalent to self dot balance minus amount so much amount will be uh, deducted from the account and then i need to write one uh, method uh, or you can say statement like uh, print the width draw is okay so one thing i need to do is uh, uh, i need to check it out one sentence here draw is uh, you can say that successful i just complete it okay so what i supposed to do is uh, i cannot directly withdraw money one condition i need to check what is that uh, here i need to go here and then i need to check condition like uh, self dot balance whether it is greater than or equivalent to amount if that is the case i can uh, withdraw money otherwise uh, i cannot okay so first i will check whether it is greater than so and so if that is the case i will do this particular thing uh, self dot uh, balance is equal to self dot balance minus amount otherwise otherwise here i will go else part okay and then i will print uh, withdraw or insufficient balance in sufficient balance okay uh, this is how actually i can uh, display and here i just can add one more statement and balance in these or remaining balance or balance is something like that i can print percentage f here i can put percentage self dot balance so it will print you how much amount of balance is remaining in the account okay so this is the thing and the next statement over here is uh, one more def i need to create that's the definition uh, what is the use of this one is the use of this one is to enquire the amount or enquire the balance inquiry or something like that you can say okay so here what i do is um, i will write one very simple statement uh, print balance in the account is percentage uh, f you can write or directly you can use value directly percentage here and then uh, here i should write self dot balance one thing you should notice uh, i am trying to display the value of one variable here so there is no need to put this thing into tuple but if i want to print two things account number as well as uh, you can say that this uh, balance in such case I need to use this particular thing in uh, tuple when you have more than one variable list in this case there is only one variable list I don't need to uh, put that thing here now what is the next thing I need to do uh, next thing is uh, to create one account so let us say that I will create one account what is the spelling I have used um, so if you want to create one account I will name that particular account as ACC which is equal to bank it will create an account okay so once account is created you will get a message saying that a new account is created so something like this is the output okay because account is created but uh, and the balance is equal to zero so that is what the thing so next one is i want to uh, deposit some money so deposit okay so once i execute it uh, let us say that i want to deposit 10000 so 10000 is deposited and you will get a message like uh, deposit is successful and the balance account is uh, balance in the account is 10000 rupees so that is what the message you will get now sometimes i want to withdraw amount so acc like dot uh, with draw so once you execute it it will ask you how much amount you want to uh, deposit like uh, again 10,000 I will write here so totally it is 10,000 rupees I have in my account and I want to d withdraw 11,000 rupees so it says that insufficient balance because uh, you have only 10,000 in your uh, bank so I want to deposit 10,000 out of that I want to withdraw 5,000 so the balance in the account is uh, I think we are getting an error incomplete format 
withdraw successful and then uh, here I should have written percentage F okay so I will try execute it one more time uh, 10,000 I have deposited 5,000 I want to withdraw so remaining is 5,000 the next possibility is what uh, the inquiry so I want to inquire the account what is the amount remaining and something like that so ACC dot inquire okay so inquiry you can say inquiry I have used inquiry okay so if I execute it I will deposit 10,000 I will uh, withdraw 5000 so 5000 is remaining and balance in the account is 5000 so this is how uh, actually we can write a very simple python program uh, using classes and objects to deposit and uh, withdraw money in a bank account so I have used uh, four methods here one is init method deposit method withdraw method and uh, inquiry method I have created an object after that I have executed different methods like deposit withdraw and then enquiry methods were executed and this is how actually the output will look like uh, i hope the program is clear if you like the video do like and share with your friends press the subscribe button for more videos press the bell icon for regular updates thank you for watching